Hey guys, what's up? So, this is a tutorial on, uh, well, first of all, it's one that I kind of wanted to do for a while. I just haven't done it yet. So now we're actually going to. But this tutorial is on, and I've mentioned this before, but it's on how to actually take a drawing from your, um, like, sketchbook and paper and actually bring it into Sketchbook Pro for further editing. Um... So practically, the the easiest way for for me to explain that is to actually show you. It's super simple. All you do is you click on this little button right here. So when you tap it, then a little thing popped up. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to focus on it. But it says uh, import photo or import camera. Now, if you want to take a photo of something and actually just uh, work off of it right there, then you want to hit import camera import photo obviously uh, you click that and it's going to bring up um, all of this right here and it's just ask you if you want to use uh, like your gallery or something so maybe if you have a photo in there it would show up and you select obviously like you select what folder you want or whatever and then you just tap on the photo and then poof it appears right there so really simple um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how that's done, I'll be happy to do one, but it's pretty simple. So yeah, just remember just to click this button. It has like a gear and it looks like a little gear looking thing and a little plus on top of it. So that's what you would do. Anyway, um, I was setting this up to get ready for, um, this class, but anyway, okay, so here we go. <laughs> so what I'm at, what I usually like to start off with is when I'm doing a photo from, uh, my actual, um, paper, like um, pen, pencil and paper or whatever, the, when I import it into Sketchbook, the f first way I like to go about adding color, because that's what we're going to be doing, is adding color, I like to uh, use the airbrush tool. I'm sure if you guys have been watching me since I started this YouTube, I'm sure you're kind of getting used to the fact that I, I really do like to use the airbrush tool a lot. <laughs> so anyway, but... Regardless, I finished this picture once before. I actually did color it, but I would like to actually try something different with it. So, I don't know. So we're just going to go with it. But before we start off with some um, some color, I want to start off with some shadowing. So you can already see a little bit of the shadowing here on the edges, but I want to actually just go ahead and enhance that. So we have our airbrush tool. We have black selected on our color palette. And we have a new layer. Make sure you create a new layer, and we're going to drop the opacity down to probably, you know, f mm, probably about right there at 50. 50 is usually pretty decent to start most um, if, you're, if you're adding another layer of something on top of uh, your drawing. 50 is usually a pretty good area to start with. Okay, so we're just going to... We're just going to highlight kind of what I've already done, and, you know, by doing that, so you can already see a stronger shadow kicking in, so. And mind you, Sketchbook Pro, it's amazing, especially, like, even if you didn't necessarily want to go ahead and do, like, the entire, like, if you don't want to color it, it's perfect for just enhancing, uh, you know, doing some quick enhancement, so you don't actually don't have to set there. I have nothing against setting there and doing stuff on paper, but I'm just saying, like, you know, if you want to do some quick stuff, you know, I mean, hey, it works good for that. So I'm actually curious to see what I'm going to do with this, because I I had done a, uh, I, like I said, I'd done this picture before, and the girl was actually wearing a red hood, and she had, like, blonde hair. It kind of looked like Red Riding Hood or something, but I want to take this in a different direction. I'm not sure where we're going to go with it either, and I almost can see this being a, a black and white drawing too, but for the sake of using color, I think we're going to go with some color. Let's give her something unique. Let's give her some... Give her some green eyes. I dropped, I made a new layer. I dropped uh, my opacity to about 52. I'm probably going to drop it a little bit lower. So let's go ahead and zoom in on her eyes. 
and uh, well, let's just go ahead and there we go, just like that. Now, this eye over here, I'm going to leave it alone because I actually think I'm going to. I can kind of feel where I'm going to go with this, and I think I'm going to cover the entire thing with hair. So, yeah. Okay, now this layer right here that I just did with her eye, we can go ahead and merge that. There's That's not a problem. So we can go ahead and merge that. Let's create a new layer, and let's move over to, uh, let's get some skin color. Let's get something nice, like, there we go. I hope this shows up on the camera well enough, but if not, then yeah, that's clear enough. <laughs> it's pretty much just a uh, a skin skin type of color, obviously. But yeah, so we're gonna have to drop the opacity down a little bit more because it's still too strong right now because we don't want to. Uh, I don't want it to bleed out the lines that we already had. So I'll just drop it down a little bit and we'll just keep going. By the way, I just wanted to say to um, you guys, I, I keep getting uh, some emails and messages and well, comments from you guys and stuff. And I just wanted to say that it's pretty cool because, um, you know, it's just, it's encouraging when you actually hear, you know, people leave feedback and stuff and they're saying like, you know, well, we enjoy your videos, you know, keep doing what you're doing. So I, I just have to say, I, I am thankful to all of you that are, you know, sending things like that. You know, it really made my day, especially, um, <laughs> this morning, I'm not going to admit last night I was kind of blah. I don't know, I just didn't get that much great sleep or anything, but regardless, I uh, I got a cool email this morning, and it was from someone all the way in New Zealand, and I thought that was pretty cool. They were saying that they liked my videos, and they had actually, they had actually just bought the Samsung Galaxy Note um, 8.0, same one I have, the one I'm actually recording this thing on. So, I thought that was cool. I don't know if they got it because of the video or if they happened to just buy one and then they stumbled across my videos. But regardless, I think that's pretty cool. So, um, I believe she said her name was Nikki. Obviously, I won't say any last names because that's just rude, especially on YouTube. But <laughs> regardless, anyway, so Nikki, if you're watching this, I just gave you a shout out. So, yeah. Me all the way over here in the California, <laughs> giving you a shout out. So thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying these videos, and I hope that uh, there will be many more to come that you will be able to uh, enjoy. That goes for everyone, because that's what I want to do. I just want to share what I know, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just a good feeling to be able to share and. Uh, be able to help because I like helping people <laughs> okay what are we at eight minutes okay I think when we hit ten minutes I'm gonna stop this video and break it up into two but before we before we do um, I'm gonna go ahead and merge the, this skin layer that I just did so we're gonna merge it with um, with our regular drawing okay so now that that is merged uh, let's Go ahead and go just a little bit more. We're going to add something to her her lips. Let's give her some let's give her some blue lips. I know this sounds weird, but I'm actually thinking I'm turning this into kind of into like a fantasy uh God, kind of looking drawing or something. So in in the fantasy world in anything goes. So Okay, so she's got the blue lip thing going on. By the way, for I I I don't know. 
exactly all what tablets that um, you guys are using, but I just want to say, you know, you don't have to have, <laughs> even though I love it to death, but you don't have to have the Samsung Galaxy Note um, to be able to do all this stuff, because I'm not, I'm not using a Note right now, I'm using my regular Samsung tablet, and I'm using a, uh, uh, a pen by um, Wacom. And then you can see it's working just fine. So don't let that turn you off or anything, just because I might happen to show off my Samsung quite a bit. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to end this video right here, and I'll see you guys in part two. All right, take care. Bye.